This video is meant to show you how to use the Lightorama Sequence Editor's Fill Tool. So this guy right here is the Fill Tool. Before we use them, let's do a little bit of preliminary setup. Let's uh, take the Set Intensity tool and turn all of these um, channels on at 50% intensity to begin the sequence. Now let's try some of these channels do a fade up over here, over here, over here, and over here. And then uh, other channels will do, let's say, a fade down over here. Now, the fill tool, what it'll do is, uh, if I apply it to an empty area in the grid, for example, this area here, it will look at what precedes the empty area and what follows the empty area. So in this case, what precedes it is 50% intensity, and what follows it is 100 per, is excuse me, is 0% intensity. This empty area here, it starts at 50 and ends at 100, all the way over here. And the fill tool will smoothly uh, um, make a fade between those two values, whatever they happen to be. So if I click in this area with the fill tool, it should make a fade from 50% down to 0%. So let's try that out. And that's just what it does. Uh, so it made a fade from 50% down to 0% to match up what preceded the empty area with what followed the empty area. If I click in this empty area, it should go from 50% up to 100%. So let's try that out, and that's what it did as well. Now, the fill tool is a bit special uh, compared to other tools. Let me go over here for a while to show you something uh, a little different. Most of the tools, for example, this on tool, if I click the mouse down and hold it down, and I click and, and I drag the mouse around without letting go of the mouse button, all it does is change the selection until I let go of the mouse button, which I'll do right now, and that causes the tool to actually be applied. And similarly, the set intensity one, I can do this all day, and it won't make any change except for changing the selected area until I actually let go of the mouse. For example, I'll do that now, and then the tool is applied. The fill tool is different. It happens as soon as you click the button in an empty area. And if you click and drag an, in an empty area from one empty area to another, it will fill any area that you drag to automatically. So let's select the fill tool and try that out. I'll click here and then drag down through these other channels. And also there are some empty zones over here too. There's an empty zone here, an empty zone up here, and an empty zone here. So I'll drag to those others and see what happens as well. So here we go. See, as I'm clicking and dragging, it is filling all of those empty areas. And I didn't have to let go of the mouse at all. Now, let's go over here for a little bit, and I'll show you something else with the fill tool. Let's try a twinkle over here. And let's say that it will fade up over here. And now let's apply the fill tool to these empty areas in between and see what happens. It creates twinkles that fade down from whatever it preceded to whatever it followed, whatever followed it. So uh, in this case, 100% down to 0%. And so the fill tool always takes the effect type of the thing that proceeds. In this case, for example, a twinkle. If we had shimmers here, and twinkles here, and regular on events here, and then fade ups over here, and we fill, the top two will be uh, shimmers, I guess. That's shimmer, yes. Uh, then down, uh, fade downs with regular events, and then fade downs with twinkles. So it always takes the effect type of the thing that proceeds, and the intensities go from whatever precedes it to whatever follows it. 
So I think that's about it for the fill tool. I hope this helps.